never fails. It's like I hit the record button and my neighbor's lawn service starts. But I literally stop recording and it's like they take a break. And then I hit the record button and... It's like they know. Hey guys, it's Saria. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Alice in Wonderland inspired topiary. It's so cute and fits just about anywhere. I was inspired to make this after I found this cute little cardboard heart at Hobby Lobby and of course I knew exactly what I wanted to use it for. I love Alice in Wonderland and I love the Queen of Hearts. This tutorial is really easy, super affordable, and just fun. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I make videos like this every Tuesday and Thursday. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. For this project you're going to need a heart. Mine was made out of cardboard and I got it from Hobby Lobby. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, and I got these fake white roses from Hobby Lobby. I used five of them. You're also going to need some sort of greenery to fill in the pot that you'll plant this in, some red puffy paint, a piece of styrofoam to stick the topiary in, and some sort of pot to pot it all together. So you're going to start off, I had to rip the string off the top of my heart, and then I took my dowel rod and poked it through the bottom. This was extremely easy. Then I took hot glue and layered the bottom completely over the hole. The goal of this was to make it really tight so that when I stick the dowel rod back in, it's secure. So I let the hot glue dry a little bit before I shoved it in. Then I go back in with another layer of hot glue around the dowel rod. This is just again to make sure that it's really secure. Then I took my green leaves off of those rose stems that I had and started gluing them up. You want to make sure that the bottom layer that you do, you don't glue down the tips on the top of the leaf if that makes sense, so that you can keep layering the leaves underneath as if they're actually growing. These leaves were super easy to work with. I literally was able to just peel off the plastic part and then cut the leaves apart and glue them straight on. Again, pay attention to how you're layering them. Make sure that they're looking natural and not fake. And then on the sides, you wanna make sure that you do glue down those sides so that they're not bubbling out so you don't lose your heart shape. So here I'm going through and adding a couple pieces to make them look a little more layered and 3D, and then I flipped it over to start on the back. On the back, you just do exactly what you did on the front. Super simple, super easy. So now we're going to start with the roses. Clip off the little nub that's on the back of the rose and use a generous amount of hot glue when you lay it down. You might want to space these out before you start gluing just to make sure that you've got them all in the right place. So now you're going to go in with your red puffy paint and start layering paint on top of these. I decided not to use acrylic paint with a brush because I really didn't want it to be neat. I wanted the paint to look thick and goopy just like it does in Alice in Wonderland when they're painting the roses red. On this rose I chose to have it drip and not cover the whole thing, similar to in the movie. So now you shove your styrofoam into your pot and then stick the dowel rod into the styrofoam and then I went in with my hot glue gun and added a layer of hot glue around the dowel rod just to make sure it was as secure as possible. Now I'm going in with that greenery and cutting it into smaller pieces and then I'm just gluing it all around the styrofoam to make it look a little more natural and cover up this really ugly piece of styrofoam that I'm using. <laughs> and then just continue until you filled it all in. That's it for this project. Please tag me in any posts you do of it at DreamItDIY. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!